Welcome sa sipnayan.com This video, tutuloy natin yung ating series on ratio and proportion. No? And uh, in this video, ang gagawin natin is mag-solve tayo ng another problem regarding uh, proportion. No? Okay. Basahin natin yung problem. No? A jar has 5 peso and 10 peso coins. The ratio of the number of 5 peso coins to the number of 10 peso coins is 3 is to 7. If there are 45 5 peso coins, how many 10 peso coins are there in the jar? So again, we have uh, yung ratio natin is 3 is to 7. Meaning, alin yung 5 dyan tsaka alin yung 10. Yung order niya, 5 peso yung nauna. Ibig sabihin, 5 uh, pesos ito yung 3. Tapos 10 peso coins yung pangalawa. Ito yung uh, 7, no? So 3, 7th, no? Pag nirepresent natin siya sa fraction. Tapos yung uh, pangalawa is, there are 45, 5 peso coins. So again, saan dyan? Yung nasa taas mo, yan yung 5 peso coin. Yung nasa taas, 5 pesos. Tapos yun nasa baba, yun yung 10 pesos. No? Meaning, pag nag-represent tayo, ang gagawin natin is also to follow this order. No? So, ang given is 45 na 5 peso coins. So, ibig sabihin, yung 45 na yun nasa taas siya kasi 5, 5 pesos ito, yung 45 number of 5 peso coins. Ibig sabihin, yung unknown natin is yung baba. Yun yung n natin o yung x, no? We can let x be the number of uh, 10 peso coins. So, pag kinross multiply natin, we have 3 times x, we have 3x equals 7 times 45. And again, na, paulit-ulit ko sinasabi, mas okay pag hindi na tayo nag-multiply kaagad kasi mas Usually, mayroon tayong nakakancel at mas madali siyang i-compute. Uh, no? So, x equals 7 times 45 divided by 3. If we divide uh, both sides by 3. And here, pwede tayo mag-cancel yung, ah, yung 45 tsaka, te, tsaka 3 magiging 15 over 1. Diba? So, x equals um, what is 45 divided by uh, 3, this is 15, this becomes 15, and 3 divided by 3 becomes 1. Pwede nyo yan i-multiply and then i-divide by 3 kaso mas mahaba siya. No? So 7 times 15 ilan? 7 times 15, 35, 105 ba? X equals 105 over 1 or X equals 105. I-double check natin, baka mali yung sagot natin. What is 7 times 15? 35 carry 3, that's 105. So we are correct. And again, uh, aside from this representation, pwede rin natin i-represent yung, yung uh, ratio using the colon. No? So 3 is to 7 is equal to uh, 45 is to x. No? Ganyan daw, pwede rin natin siya i-represent na ganyan. Pero babalik din kasi tayo dito. Kasi mangyayari dyan, uh, the product of the extremes, no? yung extremes natin yung nasa labas, is equal to the product of the means yung nasa loob. So, ganun pa rin. Mangyayari sa atin, 3x, 3 times x, product of the extremes, is equal to the product of the means. Still, 7 times 45, di ba? So, 3x, meaning x equals uh, 7 times 45 over 3, which is uh, the same the same nito, no? Pareho lang sila magiging sagot. So, kaya usually, hindi na natin siya represent na ganito. Hindi na natin siya i-direct as fraction. Okay, so maraming salamat. Uh, I hope meron katutunan sa video na to. So, kayo invite sa sipnayan.com. Yan yung ating uh, YouTube channel. Pwede rin kayo mag-subscribe, no? And, of course, uh, kung meron kayong tanong, meron kayong comment, just comment doon sa ating uh, mga YouTube videos, no? Sa ilalim. Uh, pwede kayo mag-subscribe sa... YouTube, if you are watching this in YouTube, no? kasi minsan naka-embed naka sa websites, so punta lang kayo sa YouTube and then uh, look for the subscribe button. But bago kayo mag-subscribe, dapat nakalagin kayo sa Google account ninyo. No? Okay, so pag nakasubscribe kayo, mangyayari dyan every time na may bago tayong video, ay uh, ma-e-email kayo. No? So, the uh, YouTube will send uh, you a message uh, sa to your email para ma-inform kayo that we have posted 
some videos. Okay, maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.